What's up YouTube fam and good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am just getting some work done. It is early Friday morning and I have so much stuff to do today and I thought why not film on top of it? I'm not sure what this video is going to turn into, day in the life, full day of eating, you'll know by the title, but I thought I would just film my day. It's a super busy day. I have so much work to get done. I have so much stuff to do around the house. We are headed to BC tomorrow, so I have a lot of packing to do and yeah, I just thought I'd take you along for the ride. So this morning I just woke up, poured myself some coffee, pulled myself together, and I've just been working. Henrik is just waking up. You can see him moving around on the monitor right now. So I'm going to go grab him out of his crib, feed him a bottle, and then we will get started with the day. I definitely want to work out at some point, but I don't know if I'm even going to have time to squeeze it in. I might just end up doing like a little bit of like an at-home workout versus going into the gym. So we will see. I'm just gonna get some packing done for tomorrow. I'm gonna pack up most of Henrik's stuff and then I'm going to pack up my stuff as well. It's hard to pack because Henrik was born in January and then we didn't really take him very many places when he was a newborn and then come March is when COVID hit and so honestly he hasn't been out in public like too too much. The only places he really goes is to like my mom's house or Chris's mom's house and other than that like he just stays home majority of the time so we're really not used to like having him out in public so it's like weird packing because I'm like I don't really know what to bring. I'm probably just going to overpack way too many things but I'd rather just be on the prepared side versus not having enough. So we'll just overpack and hope everything goes as planned. So I just put Henrik down for his first nap. I have a call in about 10 minutes. It is with a company that I really like and I'm excited for this call. It's just regarding like maybe a potential collaboration, just basically so I can learn more about their company, but more details to come if anything comes out of it. I will definitely keep you posted, but I am going to hop on that call and then I'm probably gonna eat something pretty soon. I'm getting very hungry. I also need to get an Instagram post up right away. I have it edited, I just need to get it up. So it's a shoulder workout if you want to check it out. Um, you can just head on over to my Instagram. I'll leave my handle somewhere here on the screen. So I finished up the call. It went really, really good. And then I grabbed Henrik from his crib. He woke up like as soon as the call was done. So it was perfect timing. Next, I'm going to make some food. I haven't eaten yet. I've just had two coffees. So I'm gonna do some oatmeal. I'm really craving oatmeal. I'll show you actually the one that I'm gonna use right now. So this is the oatmeal that I'm going to use. This is just from Superstore. It's called the Super Grains Oatmeal. And I really like it. It's one of my favorites. I like like that it's not just like regular rolled oats. It also has chia seeds and steel cut oats in it. So I'm gonna mix up two packets of that, add some honey, and then I'm gonna do a protein shake on the side. I'm gonna do just a scoop of protein, some berries, spinach, and probably cashew milk. So, oh my gosh, there's such bad glare in these glasses. It's the one thing I don't like about like filming and wearing glasses. What's going on, little man? What's going on?
So, as you can see, I got a Buff Bunny package. These are not new items. These are old items that were just on their website. And I just was staring at them for such a long time. Some of these pieces I have and love. Other pieces I didn't have and I really wanted to try because so many people talk about them. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get them. So I'll show you quickly what I got. I have so many things to do with packing and just getting ready for our trip. I don't know if I'll have time to like try these on for you, but I will definitely show you them. And then we'll see if I do have time, I'll do a little try on for you as well. First piece I got are the Live Leggings. These leggings are absolutely everything. They're so soft. They're by far my new favorite Buff Bunny collection leggings. So I ended up getting these ones in a small. The mediums were a bit big on me. I was finding them falling down a bit. So I got a small in these in the Bora Bora, this color. Amazing. Next piece, I got the Live Crop, so same energy fabric, super soft material. I got it in the Bondi Blue, which this color is just cute. This energy fabric is literally the most amazing thing ever. So this is the Revolution Bra. I've seen so many people talk about this bra. I love how it's kind of like squared in the front and then the back has the beautiful straps. I'm really, really excited about this bra just because it's a little bit longer in length as well. This is the Nova jacket. This is the same one that I have. I don't know exactly what the color is called. I think it's called something teal um, and so I got it in black because I absolutely love my Nova jacket I wear it so frequently and black again you guys know goes with everything it's my favorite color the Monarch bra is one of my favorites as well. I was feeling like I have lots of like colored Buff Bunny collection leggings, but I needed some more just like neutral sports bras. So that's why I got both of these in black. This is the Monarch bra, definitely one of my favorites. I got a medium in the sports bras and I am finding that sizing down to a small for the leggings is best for me. Obviously my body's been changing since just being postpartum. So it's been kind of interesting figuring out my sizing, but I've decided small leggings seem to fit me best, medium in every everything else. However, in the Nova jacket, I did size down to a small. And then I believe this is another live crop top. Yes, that I got in black because it can go with absolutely anything. And I like that I could just like wear it with a pair of jeans or even just like out and about. And it's just super neutral. So those are the pieces that I grabbed. If I have time, I will try them on, but I do need it to get to work and get some things done. I have a new module that I want to film for my Built by Balance ladies. I'm always adding in just more information and more tips, more tricks, more education um, within the program so that the ladies like have all of these modules that cover every single topic. So I'm gonna add another module in there as well. So I'm just having my next meal of the day. I will show you what I just put together. It is leftovers from last night, which I like wish I could show you me making it, but honestly, this is just an honest day in the life. And a lot of times I do have leftovers, especially on the days I'm really busy. It's so helpful having food just ready in the fridge so I will show you what pasta and sauce I'm using today so this is the pasta that we're using I cooked it up last night so this was just leftovers that I had already cooked but it's the organic red lentil penne I just got this at Superstore if you're in Canada it's in the organic section it's a little bit more expensive but so worth it 19 grams of protein for half a cup of dry pasta this is the sauce that I added on it's basically just this classico I usually use classico I don't know why I feel Feel like it's because it's from my childhood but I just put um, Classico I mix together some spices I put some pepper onion powder and some garlic powder and then I mix in a bit of hot sauce as well and then obviously there is beef in here so there's some extra lean ground beef and so I'm just gonna have that and I'm gonna top it off with some parm. I am just hanging out with Henrik sitting down to eat this pasta but I actually just tried to take a little nap because I'm feeling very overworked every once in a while I kind of like hit this wall where I just feel like I'm just so tired and I'm just like run down because I just go 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 and then eventually it catches up to me and I'm like oh my gosh I'm actually physically exhausted so I have so many things to do, but I also just am going to get done what I need to get done today and like get some packing and stuff done. Also finish up the work I need to do, but I'm just going to try my best to get those things done so that I can have the rest of the evening to relax because I just feel like physically exhausted and 
it's so important to like honor and listen to your body and make sure that you are giving your body rest um especially when you're feeling like you really need it because last thing like you want to do is get into a place of burnout so anyway that's just how i'm feeling today um i'm just going to have this chickpea pasta it's honestly so good you do spend a little bit more purchasing it but i love it and it's such a great source of protein so i'm gonna eat this pasta and then i'm gonna probably get some more packing done i still need to do a little bit more work but we will manage so i'm craving something sweet so i'm going to have some orange or a orange and then um i just finished up packing henrik's stuff up so now i'm going to film my module from my belt by balance ladies i'm really excited to just chat about this module because mindset is such a difficult piece of the fitness journey and i just wanted to go more in depth i already had a mindset module filmed but i just wanted to dive a little bit deeper into it because you have to make sure like your mindset is wired for success in a fitness journey so anyway I could ramble on about it but I'm gonna go film that video for them and um, just make it an updated version and then I'm going to get back to packing finish up packing my stuff Okay, I thought I'd do a super quick little try on haul here just because I'm really excited about these Buff Bunny collection pieces. These are some of my favorites. So these are the live leggings. I got them in a size medium before, but the smalls fit me way better. The mediums do fall down when I'm working out in them, and I know that these ones are a little bit more snug. So like I said, I think I'm gonna be sticking with a small in all Buff Bunny collection leggings. Still probably size up for a medium in the shorts though. And then this bra that I'm wearing is the Monarch bra, literally one of my all time favorite bras from Buff Bunny Collection. I like how simple it is on the front and then the back of the bra has really pretty detailing. So I love this little outfit together I must say. Okay, sorry about the lighting in here. It's obviously not the best just because I don't have like all my lights set up, but um, this is the Nova jacket. This is in a size small. I got it in a medium last time and I would say that the small like fits me. It's a lot like more snug. My medium's pretty baggy, but I definitely like prefer the small. I love this jacket. I love how fitted it is and it's just so cute. Okay, this is the Revolution bra, and oh my gosh, this is adorable. I love how it's a little bit more straight across here versus it being like a swoop front. It's just like a little bit different of a detail, and then the back is just so cute as well. I don't know why it took me so long to get my hands on this piece. I absolutely love it. This is the Live Crop in Bondi Blue. So again, this is the Live Crop. This is in the color black and I love this crop top. I just got it in a size small because I didn't have any mediums online, but I definitely prefer the medium. Just a little bit looser, a little bit more room to move. But yeah, those are all the pieces that I got. If you check online and they still have some of these pieces available and you want to shop them, you can use my support code Olivia. It does just directly support me and I receive a little bit of commission. So thank you so much. If you ever use my code, please let me know so I can personally thank you because it means the freaking world to me. So time to get back to packing because I am procrastinating. Look at how nice Chris's luggage looks compared to mine. I always just like throw all the clothes that I need just on the floor and then I slowly start to go through like what I actually want to bring. I always end up overpacking anyway, but I'm going to try my best to not overpack because I know I've overpacked for Henrik. So I ended up getting some sushi. This is salmon and avocado, and this is spicy salmon. I love salmon sushi in general. And then I ended up getting a side salad. I was thinking it was gonna be a little bit bigger than this, but that's all right. And then I also got a miso soup because I just love miso. So Chris ended up ordering pho. I ended up getting sushi, and 
it was so good. I probably ate like 75% of the two rolls and I'm just going to save the last few pieces for tomorrow's lunch. But I've just finished packing. It's getting pretty late now and I'm exhausted. So I'm going to shower quick and then head to bed. But I just wanted to wrap up this video and say thank you so, so much for watching this little like day in the life of vlog, full day of eating. It's kind of just everything all together but i hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button and i will see you in the next one bye